Hey guys, uh, this video is going to be filmed in my backyard because that's where Beckett decided to take a nap today in the shade. He's nice and comfy over there. But I wanted to address something that gets said a lot to me or about me in comment sections that I find super fascinating. So we're going to talk about my weight loss journey because um, I had one, contrary to popular belief. Um, I don't talk about it because that's not why I do the things that I do. It's not why I eat the way that I eat. It's not. It's just not. So I very rarely talk about weight loss, fat loss, any of that stuff. But in fact, I did have some. So, um, and I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see. However, there's not many because I was uncomfortable with my body. I did not like to be photographed from the chest down. So most of my pictures, if you go on my Instagram, you scroll back for the two years that I was truly sick with Hashimoto's and gained all the weight, you pretty much can't find a picture of me from the chest down unless I'm wearing a well-designed outfit that was to make sure that I hit any imperfections. Uh, lighting and posing properly so that I looked thin. Um, I was really good at hiding my weight gain because I didn't want anyone to notice. I mean, who does? I was really good at ignoring it and to the point where it became a real problem and I had to address it. So, my normal weight before I had breast implants was 105 pounds. That was when I was happy, healthy, I was actually working out. I worked at a gym. Um, I was eating, you know, the standard way. I wasn't eating a whole lot of crap. I basically ate, you know, the normal diet, steaks and potatoes, but it was mostly meat, standard American diet. But I always have loved meat. It's always been like the biggest thing on my plate. So I started out at about 105 pounds. After I had breast implants, I gained about five pounds. So then I was about 110. Uh, by the time I met Ken, I was around 115. And around that time is when my Hashimoto's, I think probably kicked in. If you've watched my other videos about Hashimoto's, I think that that was mostly attributed to my implants and some stress and trauma and things that I was going through around that time in my life. And then from then on it escalated and within a year and a half I went from 105 pounds to 150 pounds. Uh, I am 5'2", 45 pounds on a 5'2 frame is significant. Um, if you put that into the BMI calculator I was in the mid range for overweight. I was not obese but I was getting very close. If I had continued eating the way that I had been eating, I would have kept gaining the weight because I, that much weight and that sort of amount of time, it was just gonna keep going up. That, that's just a fact. Doesn't matter what my genetics are. Doesn't matter any, any of that. In fact, my genetics aren't even that good because I have Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism and uh, you know, all that fun stuff. So around that time is when I was trying to get pregnant and we went and saw my fertility doctor and he gave me the official diagnosis of Hashimoto's, which Ken already had said he thought I probably had, even though my labs were normal, my symptoms were not. And so that's when I started eating paleo, um, Whole30, and then eventually transitioned into keto. And then the weight came off. Uh, pretty fast honestly uh, within the first week I lost about five pounds and then it started you know slowly coming off and then the final few pounds came off with carnivore right before that I got I did my IVF round and I got pregnant and then obviously I gained um, I was at airplane at delivery I was uh, 163 165 give or take a few pounds for clothes and all that good stuff when I had the baby and then um, I went back to carnivore about a week or two after I delivered and then dropped that weight and now I'm down to 107 but like I said I was very good at dressing for my figure at that point I also my body tends to hold weight very inconspicuously so I didn't gain a whole lot of weight in my arms 
and I didn't gain a whole lot of weight in my legs. My thighs and my stomach area and my face, um, they're what showed the most of my weight gain. Um, and my boobs got even bigger like they needed to be because I just had breast implants. So I had ridiculously large boobs as well. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to get on here and make a video about this because I don't talk about my fat loss. I don't talk about any of that because I didn't address it when I had gained weight. I didn't act like that I had gained weight and it's not the reason that I eat the way that I do. Is it awesome that I am able to get back down to where I have been my entire life normally with this way of eating? Awesome. Yeah, obviously it's great, but that's not why I do it. If I weighed 140 pounds right now and I felt as good as I did, I would still be eating this way. And that's why I don't focus on that. I know the before and after pictures are very compelling when someone shows you how big they were and how small they are now, but that's not the true health benefit that you get from eating proper human diet, ketogenic diet, super low carb. It's just not. You can see those pictures on Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, Nutra System, uh, what's the new one that everybody's doing? Beach Body? I don't know. Anyways, like you can get those pictures on anything. They can't give you the health benefits that the ketogenic way of eating gives you. They can't put your Hashimoto's in remission like mine is. Um, they can't take you off all your diabetic meds when you're a type 2 diabetic. They can't um, get you pregnant if you're having fertility issues related to PICOs. Those kind of diets can't give you the benefits because this diet hacks insulin. That is the main thing that affects most of our health issues in the body. And I'm no scientist. I'm no expert. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm just me. But I just wanted to kind of share this little story with you guys so you could understand that I did go through weight gain and just because I caught it early before I was obese or before I was unable to hide it doesn't mean that it didn't happen to me and it doesn't mean that I didn't share that struggle and um, just because I caught it earlier than some people and I, I was at a size 10 when I caught it instead of a size 20 doesn't change the fact that it happened to me and I could have easily easily kept going on the path that I was going and got up to 180 200 pounds and been super super unwell so um, I hope this guys gives you a little perspective on my weight loss journey and uh, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video love you mean it